Hey, it's Connor again. So in my last video I showed you how I achieved supercavitation with a small cavitator at just over 30 miles per hour. This time I'll be using a much larger cavitator. Last time I used a half inch cavitator, and this time I'll be using one that's two inches in diameter. These are pretty simple, it's just a machine screw with different sized washers attached. The purpose of this experiment today is to determine how the size of the cavitator affects the speed at which supercavitation occurs. So here we are on Lake Washington again, this time using a 2 inch cavitator. When the boat reaches 9 miles per hour, you'll see a large cavitation bubble begin to form around the cavitator. It's pretty dramatic. In fact, it's kind of cool to watch how the probe transitions into and out of the supercavitating state. It's tough to control the boat speed precisely when we're below planing speed, but we try to hold it between 9 and 10 miles per hour so we can watch the transition into the supercavitation state. So it looks like supercavitation begins at a speed of just over 9 miles per hour for a 2 inch cavitator. After a number of experiments like these with different sized cavitators, I was able to graph the relationship between cavitator size and the speed at which supercavitation begins. This was the basis for the project I presented at the local and state science fairs here in the state of Washington this year. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.